everybody welcome to ask posh we're so glad that you're here with us today it's been a heck of a summer I mean we're about ready to launch into the last two weeks and hopefully we'll get enough rain so that we can be the first be on top and be the wettest summer ever on record Woo! and our house is only flooded once we are like so excited we can't stand it but with all that flooding, it's brought a lot of wonderful new brides in here for Posh, and we have some brand new styles that just came in this week, so you have to come and see. And by the way, in September, we're doing an event, I think it's three weekends long, is that correct? It starts September 8th, I think it is? That sounds good to me. Anyhow, that weekend sometime, and we're doing a boho event, so you girls who are getting married in a barn, outside, under the trees, at mom's house, blah, blah, blah. You're looking for a boho thing, maybe out at the beach. We've got them. We've got them in prices from $1,000 up to $4,200. So we've got all price ranges. We've got all styles, shapes, and sizes. So come, make an arrangement to make an appointment to come and see us because it is gonna be three big weekends and you don't wanna miss it. It's gonna be really exciting. And so with all these new styles coming in, you know, a lot of times we forget that there's guys involved in this day. You know, it's really exciting. So I asked one of my friends to come over today because today, I don't know whether you know or not, is National Bow Tie Day. So I hope you sent all of your guys to work today with a bow tie on. I don't care if he had on a, um, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, what it is, um, Polo. A polo shirt on. Bow ties are the day today. So everybody have a bow tie. I want to introduce to you this sharp looking guy over here on my left. This is Donovan from Central PA Tux. Thanks for coming, Donovan. Yeah, no problem. Happy to be here today. Yeah, we're, we're not posh bridal. The place looks amazing. Thank we you. Just got the, done with a new remodel. It looks great. Yeah. Well, we're going to show you some more after we're done with okay. this because there is more behind what you just see. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, today we're talking about fashion for men, which is really important because I know your girls are going to look great, but I know if you go to Central PA Tux, they'll even look the guys are gonna look just as sharp, and we want them to pair off with you beautifully. So tell me first, where is Central PA Tux located? We're located uh, in Lancaster, Lebanon, York, and Harrisburg. Um, our main hub is right off of Centerville Road, over by that fish place. Um, once you get off Route 30, uh, the McDonald's and the Union Community yep. Bank, we're kind of tucked right back in there. So after you get your tux in, you can go through the uh, McDonald's drive-in and get a yeah. flurry and go home. It's great. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One-stop shop. Yeah. <laughs> See, I do that all the time. When I go over. <laughs> it's always my treat. Yeah. <laughs> but you have multiple locations, which is great mm -hmm. because you brides that are getting married all over Central Pennsylvania, you you know, I know that some of you want to go to those big box stores because it makes it easy. But Central PA Tux makes it easy because they're in various different locations, but also for another reason that the big box stores can't do for you. Yes, we actually have in our Lancaster location all of our rental styles hanging in stock. So the moment you walk in the door, the first thing we're going to do with our groom is we're going to dress up a mannequin and we're going to decide what you want to wear. And then we take you right into the dressing room and you actually put the tuxedo on so that way you know hey, I like the way that the Euro Slim fits, or I like the way that the Modern Slim fits. Um, so that way you're putting the product on, you're touching it, you're feeling it, and you get a little bit more connection with what you're about to buy. I love that. And like you said, there's different sizes because there's also, you said, a comfort fit. Mm -hmm. So that's for Absolutely. those guys that, you know, as we know, the brew houses have become big time here in Central PA. So those that hang out at the brew houses a little too many times over the weekend can do the comfort fit. Absolutely. There you go. So they are a one-stop shop for all guys. We've got everything from, you know, boys three to men 70, which wow. would fit like Shaquille O'Neal. Wow. So we've got everything in all sizes. That way, if you got little toddlers running around, they can come in they and dress so up too. Oh, they do. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. So, um, so Bing today is Bow Tie Day, National Bow Tie Day. You brought me some samples, and I noticed yeah. that there's a lot of red ones here in stock. And I asked, is red the hot color? Uh, red is becoming more of a trend. Um, we're seeing heading into fall, 
okay. you know, reds, burgundies, mm -hmm. shades of uh, and of course, Christmas. paired with a navy. Yeah, mm -hmm. looks really nice. Um, so we've been seeing a lot of burgundies, deep reds, and navies paired well together. And I like the fact that there's a lot of patterns here. So it's not just like red. Um, so it's kind of a little dulled down a little bit. Yeah. And of course, these come with the pocket, pocket square, square yeah. too. Yeah. And are we doing what? What is the uh, what's the official underneath the jacket look now? Is it vests or is it cummerbunds or is it where are we going with it that? It depends. If you're at a very formal event, you know, then you know, hey, wear a bow tie and cummerbund. But a lot of guys have been wearing vests and ties, uh, a little bit more informal, a little bit more modern. The cummerbund's maybe a little dated. It's really used for very high fashion occasions. Yeah. The cummerbund. And I think too the vests, just like for some of us girls, uh, we like things that camouflage us. The vests camouflage a little bit better, whereas the cummerbund will sometimes accentuate going to the bigger places. So <laughs> <laughs> stick with the vest, guys. Yeah, um, it's, it's really yeah. good and convenient for keeping your shirt tucked in too. Yeah. So that That's way, true. you know, the mm -hmm. bottoms of your shirt doesn't yeah. flap. You've got a vest. It keeps it very nice. Well, we and have cohesive. a secret for that. Yeah. <laughs> you can wear a shirt stay too, but not all the guys you know, know where to find them or, or have them. <laughs> There's a couple ways, yeah, we can take care of those things. So anyway, um, if you need that help, just come to me. I'll let you know how to do that. Uh, <laughs> so um, the other nice thing about wearing a vest is for those guys, especially on these days, these summer days, and especially in September when it still stays in the 80s and 90s and it's hot outside and it's a little humid, you can take your jacket off, have the vest still on, you still look dressed. Mm -hmm. And um, so at the reception when everybody starts really partying and dancing, you can still have that nice look to the whole thing rather than looking like you're becoming really sloppy and going to a fraternity party. Right. Yeah. And that's what we're looking for, is we're looking to keep you at all times looking like you're at a formal event. Because yeah. the formal. girls can't peel off clothes. The guys have that opportunity. Yeah, we've got layers. Yeah. I mean, it makes it hot for when you're baking out there in the sun. <laughs> you know, you're just sitting out there. <laughs> well, I feel for you. You know, the, you know the baby powder trick, don't you? We do know the baby powder Okay, that's great. Because I tell all my brides about the baby powder trick to make sure all the guys know about baby powder. So we will talk about, if you go on to our... Uh, Facebook page we do talk about baby powder at least twice a year so make sure that you look up about baby powder yeah. Very useful. it's a secret for both guys and gals especially during this hot time yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. summer months are brutal yeah they are <laughs> they are so we have bow ties and as you'll notice um, Donovan here has the James Bond look on right now um, but most bow ties today come with this easy attachment, which mm -hmm. makes it really got nice for you guys that don't know how to tie a bow tie or don't want to be able to do it, want to have to do it, and make sure that all your bow ties are identical. Because yes. if you have like a parade of 10 guys, you don't want to be like all skewed up all over the place. So having the easy Uniformity is really around, nice for that. It just hooks on, yeah. it's easy. Very hook and eye clip is what we normally say, and you just adjust with your strap. Yeah, and you can buy these, and mm -hmm. that this way too, you can have. I mean, I think it'd be nice for a gift for all your groomsmen to have a nice memory of the wedding. Absolutely, and you know, I have ten thousand of these sitting in our stores. Oh, I thought you said and that they are, personally. I was like, oh, no, well, no. you've been in a lot of weddings. <laughs> <laughs> We've got about 10,000 of them sitting around, and we sell them for 3 to $5. Oh, that's so, a bargain, folks. Very, very easy deal for you and your groomsmen to come in and you know look through all of our styles. Um, so all of the stuff that you know was in our previous rental campaigns, the used bow ties, the 3 to $5, give them to your groomsmen, let them keep them. Um, you know, we've got thousands of them. This is great. So at your uh, rehearsal dinner party, you can have these as part Absolutely. of the little gifts at, to take home at everybody's place setting. Yeah. I mean, how adorable is that? I think that's great. And if the guys don't want to wear a bow tie and you have a dog, put it on your dog for Christmas photos. I love you know? it. I love Dress it. Dress up the pup. I love it. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> great idea. So what this looked like originally is this. I know everybody goes, what is that? This is an untied bow tie. Um, and so what makes this nice is these untied bow ties do come 
in different sizes. It isn't, if you have one custom made, it wouldn't have this little loop in the middle of it. But this makes it so that you can have different size necks because as we know, not all guys are a size 15 or a size 19. We have to be flexible. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, Donovan's gonna show us how to tie a bow tie. I have my nifty mirror here so that he doesn't have to do this freelance without, do I have it in the right position? Uh, see. Tilt it up just a little there bit more. Is there that we go. better? Okay. Yeah. okay. So it's kind of like being at Elizabeth Arden right now doing makeup, you know? So. Anyhow, Donovan's going to show how easy this is to do because um, you fellas really and truly need to learn how to do this. Go ahead. Absolutely. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look right when it starts to get the curvature here. I'm going to go just a little bit above. I'm going to put that right on the top part of this button, right in the center. And I'm going to take the longer side now and I'm going to fold it across. I'm going to loop it up and under and then that's going to sit up in the back for right now. Now I'm going to take this side and I'm going to fold it like this so that way there's a little loop here on this side and I'm going to center the divot in the center of that right up to the bow. I'm going to take my long side down and this is what's going to give us that front knot that's coming right underneath there. Mm -hmm. So now what I'm going to have to do is there's a small little hole back behind here that I'm going to fish this through. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take the fat part of this and I'm going to try to push that right through that hole in the back. And when you get to this step, you have almost think that you've got it wrong. So when you're right here, mm -hmm. it almost looks like it's really messy, you've got no idea what's going on, and a lot of guys get to this point and they get frustrated and they go, that's it, I'm done. No. No. What you want to do is you want to take your necktie down and now you just want to dial it in. Fix the collar. You gotta fix the collar this now. This is where you girls come into play. You have oh, to yeah. help. Okay. So now what you're doing is both sides that have um, the little loop, you're gonna pull together, which is gonna tighten it, and then you're gonna just adjust it. So you're gonna tighten, adjust, tighten, adjust, and now you're getting closer to getting a nice solid Look knot. Look at that. And that bow tie is starting to take form. And now you've got yourself a perfect bow tie. A good self-tie bow tie. I prefer mine just a little bit messy. That way guys know like it's he tied it himself. Tied it. You know, <laughs> if it looks too perfect, they're it like, looks, well, it looks maybe like that's a hook and eye clip. Yeah. You know, I prefer mine just a little bit messy. That way they know like I took the time to do this myself. I tied it myself. Or you were an idiot and undid one of these. <laughs> yes. I've seen those come back like this. I know. Yep, I've seen some guys that have taken those apart and then not been able to put it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, exactly. Well, I hope that you guys learned how to do this and I hope that you girls that have dialed into this make sure that you make a note on this video so that you can watch this video for future events that you have because Every guy wants a bow tie in their closet at some point in time. And bow ties are so hot right now, not just for formal wear, but for wearing to the office and wearing for other events, that it's a lot of fun. Yeah, bow tie Wednesdays. I know a lot of people that will dress up every Wednesday, they wear a bow tie into work. So, like I said, I've got plenty of them around the tuck shop. If you want to stop on by, three to five dollars a bow, you know, it's I a love steal. It. I think that's something that's going to go on my Christmas list because I know my husband likes that with braces, so it's oh, great. Absolutely. And maybe you'll want to tell us the difference between braces and suspenders. Uh, so suspenders normally will clip. Braces are what you wear on the inside of your, um, your waistline. Um, you have buttons, so braces normally will button on. Suspenders will normally just put And the braces are much nicer and a little savvier. You, know? yeah. you don't have that metal clip that kind of looks a little on the tacky side. Right. So, and I know that a lot of you brides are now doing that kind of look that you love to have the braces without the jacket in the summertime especially. Suspenders and bow ties. So okay. suspenders and bow ties, which I'm assuming you have the suspenders and the braces there too to be yes, able to choose do. from. And you can either rent the pants or buy the pants, correct? Yep. A lot of guys will buy pants if they want them tailored. So if you want something that's super skinny and I want to tailor it just to you, you normally buy them. Um, a rental pant is only, so you know, much. there's only so much you can do with a rental pant because once I take it to you, the next guy that comes in that's a little bigger than you, it's not going to fit. Yeah. Um, so that's the rental versus retail. 
um, but we do have suspenders and bow ties in 122 different colors. Wow. Well, so. I think that you're not going to have a problem trying to match your colors there. So that sounds exciting. Well, Donovan, I'm really excited that you came and told us all about the bow ties and what Central PA Tux does. And I hear that they are about ready to go underway uh, with a new, uh, new, a whole new fresh look over at the Centerville store. So I look forward to seeing that. And I think we're going to have to go and look and see ourselves and get Absolutely. a tour. Anytime. I'll call you as soon as we're done. You can pop on over and... I love you know, it. We'll set up another interview. We'll that do this again. Good. We'd love it because I'd love to show you girls all the new tuxedos that are out there because he's actually wearing one right now that's really pretty sharp. It is black with a little navy suede going on and um, just has a really beautiful texture. And I think that you guys and gals need to see this because you don't need to just stick with all black nowadays. You can have a little bit of a change up on it and make your guy just look as dashing as can be <laughs> and uh, take home one of those jackets with you and you have it in the closet and be able to go out at night. I mean, there's some really nice restaurants down here in Lancaster that you can get dressed oh, up and sure. go to. So. And I always like wearing this jacket out in particular because it does have that little bit of texture yeah. so guys, girls will come up and try to touch you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> talking about that, Donovan is available. He's looking oh for a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> He's turning red right now. So, <laughs> whoops, the bow tie just fell off the desk. So, uh, thanks again for coming. And uh, I hope to see all of you girls here at Posh in the next couple weeks looking for our boho weddings that are going to go beautifully with our bow ties. And um, I want to wish you all a great rest of the summer. And thanks for coming to Ask Posh. I'm Janelle, and I was your hostess. And thanks so much. Bye-bye.